Africa faces a significant security challenge from terrorism and violent extremism, particularly in the Sahel region, where there's been an alarming rise in terror-related fatalities. This summit by Nigeria aims to tackle the threat head on. Terrorism in Africa is driven by factors such as foreign terrorist fighters, organized crime, prolonged conflicts, drug trafficking, illicit arms trade, high youth unemployment, porous borders, and inadequate policing. The National Security Advisor unveils Nigeria's measures to address evolving threats. Our commitment extends to digital security with the establishment of the National Cyber Security Coordination Center to counter the use of our cyberspace by terrorists, but importantly, also adopting the advancement in technologies with strict adherence to ethics and rights to anticipate and neutralize threats before uh, they manifest. Additionally, I am taking this opportunity to inform the world that we have resumed the prosecution of the Boko Haram and affiliated terrorist suspects detained in Kainji and other locations across the country. While the UN highlights social exclusions and governance gap needed attention, terrorists find a welcome home with deeply disillusioned, excluded and desperate people. We must formulate responses that address these conditions and in doing so we must pay attention to our women and girls who bear the greatest impact of insecurity often the victims of terrorism, who deserve our solidarity and who have a right to remedy and reparations, and also to our youth and future generations. Second, we need to work to rebuild the social contract across the region. The social contract, a bond between people and the authorities that govern them, has been frayed by decades of underinvestment, crises and a lack of governance. We have some regional initiatives from the African Union mission in Somalia to multinational joint task force in the Lake Chad Basin and the Southern African Development Community mission in Mozambique. These regional arrangements require support and long-term commitment from the international community. President Bola Chinubu and other leaders stressed the need for tangible outcomes, with the Nigerian president calling for the establishment of a fully operational regional counterterrorism center and a regional standby force to enhance intelligence sharing and rapid response capabilities. The time to act is now. The time for concrete actions is now. The time for results is now. The time for speeches is over, even if I am doing well. Why terrorism troubles us greatly at the moment? We do well by remembering terrorism is not of Africa. We must tell this important evil that at once to burn and break us that it shall not succeed. Instead of making us bow, we shall banish it. Let us stand together in solidarity, solidarity and solidarity to confront this scourge and build a more secure, stable and prosperous future for our continent and its citizens. Arise News caught up with the National Security Advisor. I asked him what sets this summit apart from previous ones and what he aims to achieve by organizing it. This is a very important event for Nigeria and indeed uh, Africa. We do have over 400 foreigners here and they're all professionals directly who are involved in the fight against terrorism globally. And uh, we've had very powerful speeches from the UN, from our own presidents, and literally all those who are important. And uh, we believe this is what is needed. And everybody, all of are calling for a collaborative effort to come together. We are all in this together. Today we are beginning to see the end of Boko Haram in Nigeria. And that is a fact, it's not just talk. Uh, we've heard what was said. Uh, since the coming of this administration, President Bola Ahmed TV, we have not witnessed one single terrorist act in Nigeria. Terrorist act, we mean like attack by terrorists. 
we have had it many in 2022. The attack on our train, our own prison, our gas battalion, our churches in 2022. And throughout 2023 and now, we have not witnessed one. The UN Deputy Secretary General reiterates the crucial need for adequate resources to combat terrorism effectively. Uh, so my hopes are that when I see the multi-stakeholder attendance here that has been put together by the, the NSA and um, our Office of Counterterrorism, then I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful that they're actually addressing the solutions and they're listening to what the President said, which is enough with the rhetoric or grammar, as we say in Nigeria, and more action on the ground. It has to be followed up by resources. This will not happen on fresh air. Um, and I hope that collectively we can bring the partners in to scale up what they have already been doing, but to talk about that um, in a, with a sense of urgency. Stakeholders at the summit are unanimous in their resolve that defeating terrorism in Africa is not a simple task, but rather a complex challenge that requires a comprehensive approach. They are optimistic, however, that through collective action and a commitment to African-led solutions, there can be a significant impact in the fight against terrorism on the continent. From the Office of the National Security Advisor, Nigeria, Adesua Omoruan, Arise News.